Hey everyone, this is the next video in our series about Pivotal Cloud Foundry tutorials. Here we are exploring the options and details uh, while pushing the application to PCF environment, right? So we already have posted a sample Hello World application to PCF and have gone through the details also. And there is one other way that we can use to push our application to PCF environment and this is more easy and uh, more reusable way that we can use multiple times while pushing multiple applications right and this is very beneficial and this is known as manifest file manifest is a file uh, it takes syntax of yaml uh, yaml yet another markup language this is the syntax that it takes so let's go ahead and see what is this manifest and how does it work what is manifest yaml manifest provide consistency and reproducibility and can help you automate deploying apps right it is going to help a lot in automating the things right both manifest and command line options allow you to override the default attribute values of cf cli cf push or cf cli so when we are using any command like cf push cf scale cf stop start anything and it comes with some default values that the attribute that it has right so we can override those default values with this command line options that we are using so far and that we are going to use in manifest also and we can define we can say the values of those attributes in these files right and these attributes include things like number of instances disk space limit and memory limit so there are many attributes that we can define in our manifest yaml right so we can see that command line options override manifest so when you have both the things manifest yaml file also and command line attribute also for the same thing so whatever you mention in command line will be the highest priority right so that will be uh, that will be uh, honored okay so when you have the same thing in manifest yaml right inside file and inside cli also command line interface so whatever is here will be honored okay so this is the reference doc that you can go through there are uh, many more attributes uh, for the manifest yaml to be written uh, all the details can be found here so next we are going ahead and we are going to create the manifest yaml file and pushing the application to pcf and see this how it is working right so let's go ahead so this is my command line window where I already have logged into the system. Let me see the CF apps that I already have. So CF apps is a command which can push the, which can get the all the application that is available with the, uh, with the PCF environment with my account, right? So in this org, in this space with this user, it is listing me all the accounts. So I already have stopped this application, right? So there is reason behind why I have stopped it because in trial period uh, that PCF provides you, there is limited memory space that you can use right so that is to avail to get that space available for other applications to work with i have stopped the application right so this is the thing so in this video uh, i'm going to push the application using manifest so look, go ahead and see what is manifest so this is the manifest file this is the syntax you have to give the applications for the name this is the name that will be given this is the memory that will be allocated to your application that is being pushed so by default it comes with 1 gb uh, if i see the memory space so it is coming 1 g in this case i am giving this 800 mb so it will be 800 m only right so instances so at the time of pushing how many instances do you want to be started at first so by default it starts one instance only but in manifest i can specify how many instances to start so i'm asking for it to two it is going to start two instances for now only these three attributes are sufficient for the demo purposes and later on we can extend this right so this is the manifest.yml and this is the thing and this is the directory manifest demo where i am so let me see what else i have in this directory right so in this directory we have the hello pcf.jar that i am going to push right and this is the manifest yaml that it, it is going to read this is the manifest yaml file that it has right so we have given the name and i also have to provide the path of this uh, hello pcf.jar that, that it has so how i can do that so path current directory and what is the name of the jar file 
हेलो पीसीएफ तो अच्छा सो दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट आई नीड टू गिव राइट सो लेट्स बाय डूइंग दिस व्हाट इज द बेनिफिट इट इज गिविंग सो व्हाट अर्लियर आई वाज डूइंग सीएफ पुश एंड आई वाज गिविंग अदर एट्रीब्यूट्स आल्सो राइट लाइक नेम ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन दैट वी बोन लाइक दिस हेलो पीसीएफ राइट एंड द path of the jar also but all those things now i have mentioned in manifest.yml right so what cf is going to do in the current in the current directory it is going to look for the manifest yml if it is there it is going to read the details from there and going to use those details while executing this command right so in this case it is going to do the cf push using these informations right so let's go ahead and hit enter and see how is this working so if everything is okay syntax is correct all these things are so we will be able we will be able to see the manifest app running on pcf environment with two instances with 800 m for each instance right okay so all things went good right so it is giving me the details downloading the all build packs all those information so this is the complete log that we are getting right so our app is also running here right we got the both instances running state right so let me walk you through the details in the first line i can see posting from manifest to org right so it is uh, using the manifest file right it is giving the complete path also it is getting the app information from the manifest and getting these attributes name is this path we give this path right and instances to memory 800m and routes manifest app whatever we gave the name it will be the uh, appended before cf apps.io that is the domain right it is creating the manifest app mapping routes comparing local files to remote cache to use the cache it is packaging the files that is jar to upload when it is uploaded uh, it is tracing the logs and uploading the build pack information build pack is something uh, that is it supports to download the dependencies want to know more the details you can watch the previous video these are the build packs different build packs downloaded but in this case only java build pack is applicable right so it created the cell container for that created the id and all those stuffs for that it is downloading the app packages on all those things right so finally it has it is uploading the droplet before that it has created the droplet in the system right it is uploading the droplet and uploading the build caches upload droplet completed at this step right when all the things done so it is stopping and destroying the cell that was created for this facility to up and uh, to support the to support in starting the application right so it is destroying that container so that it is available for others right so when everything is done it is going to start the app right so when it is started it is giving us the, all the information that it has done name manifest app what is the state of the instances it is started what are the routes this is the route right last updated and stack build pack information that it has used what is the type of application number of instances and memory uses and what was the start command that was used and finally here is the state since oh, time cpu uses at this moment disk details whatever is available with that right so let me go to the dashboard also and show you this Okay, so this is the space uh, that I already have logged in. This is the PCF dashboard. Okay, we have uh, one or green learner test, and we have two spaces, and we have pushed the application into this, right? So it is refreshing the details to show here, right? So as of now, it is showing the only one, hello PCF one two three, but here when we are getting, if I enter the command cf apps here so we will get all the apps that is running with that one right so we have to hello pcf and manifest app that is in a running state right and this is the url that i can use to access it right so let me go ahead and copy this okay so here let me paste this here and hit the endpoint that it has so you remember we have hello endpoint right so it is running here properly okay so it is hitting both the instances that is with that one right uh, so if i am hitting it multiple times uh, we we will be able to see the cpu uses there if i hit again cf apps we will see this and if we see the cf app information manifest 
that is here there are two instances it is taking some time to get the information showing health and status of this app so yeah you can see all the started 800 and this cpu 0.4.5b because we hit the some endpoints from here and it got the hit from on both the instances that it has right so on the dashboard i think the things ha are appearing now so this is the space test space where we have pushed the application this is in a stopped state right and this is the manifest app which is uh taking total 1.5 memory because we have two instances let's go ahead and explore more about it so it is it takes some time to fetch the details right so two instances running how much memory 146 disk space is this uptime is this disk allocated 1 gb and memory allocated is 800m that we mentioned in the uh, that we mentioned in the manifest yaml right so this is the way that we can use the manifest yaml to deploy the application and we can automate we can uh, re uh, reuse that also and this is the uh, reference url that you can take advantage of right to explore more about the manifest and these are the different other manifest attributes that we can use so go ahead and experiment around this we will be seeing more about this manifest yaml in future videos right so if you want to see other videos this is the playlist on youtube and this is the green learner page for all the source code and uh, the entire table of contents all those stuff right so so you play around with all of this i will see in the next video take care